Right now at noon, the state Senate will vote today on a bill to upgrade the state's outdated unemployment claim system. And Wisconsin Athletics announced they plan to allow fans at Camp Randall this fall. This is News 3 Now at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 on this Thursday afternoon. Let's head to the Weather Center. Meteorologist Hattie McLean has a look at your first warm forecast. It's amazing how warm 20 can feel. I know. So excited. Never been so excited about the 20s, but we are headed into the 20s this afternoon. Take a live look outside from our station. We have variably cloudy skies this lunch hour. Some high level clouds, especially on the east side of our viewing area, east of Madison, in between here and Milwaukee. Take a look at temperatures, though. Some teens saw on the map, but we're up to 21 now here in the capital city. Janesville has jumped to 25. Watertown is at 24. Great afternoon to head outside. Take a look at weather track and you'll see just a few flurries showing up for southeastern Wisconsin. Can't rule out a few flurries, especially east of the area today. Otherwise, the rest of us are looking at a pretty quiet forecast. Temperatures will top in the low 20s today. It is going to be cold again tonight with temperatures dropping into the single digits. But coming up in a main weather, we'll talk more about 30 30s. They're in the forecast, Mark. 30s plus. Yes. All right. We'll see you in a few minutes, Eddie. Thank you. New at noon, a local radio personality was arrested on tentative child pornography possession charges. 40-year-old Matthew Bradshaw Jones, who goes by Jackson, Jackson Jones on Q106, was booked into the Dane County Jail last night. Online records suggest official charges have not yet been filed. The Mount Horror Police Department was notified about possible child pornography possession in December and executed a search warrant at Jones' home last night night. Officials say several electronic devices were taken as evidence. News 3 now provides weather forecasts to the entire Midwest family group of radio stations, but our meteorologists are not on the air on Q106. The Wisconsin Senate is set to approve a bipartisan bill designed to begin updating the state's outdated unemployment insurance system. The governor has blamed it for causing delays in processing claims filed during the pandemic. The measure is up for a vote today and also includes portions of a COVID-19 bill that Evers vetoed. It would waive the one-week waiting period to receive unemployment benefits until March 14th and extend limited liability from coronavirus-related lawsuits to businesses, governments, and schools. After passing in the Senate, the Assembly could vote on the bill as soon as Tuesday. Looking ahead, UW System President Tommy Thompson says he wants 75% of classes to be taught in person this fall. He wrote in a column released today that he's directing system campuses to ensure students will have, quote, a classic UW campus experience as possible. Thompson says the system's aggressive testing protocols, social distancing, and masks have kept COVID infection rates low. Wisconsin Athletics plans to welcome fans back to Camp Randall this fall. In an email this morning, Director of Athletics Barry Alvarez thanked season ticket holders for their support and announced they are still deciding how many fans will be allowed in the, an the annual fund campaign and football season ticket order process, which will begin in mid-March. Wintry weather is delaying the push to get COVID-19 vaccines delivered around the country and into people's arms. Natalie Brand has more details from the White House. Snow and ice covering Washington, D.C. streets forced President Biden to delay his trip to Michigan to visit a Pfizer manufacturing plant producing COVID-19 vaccines. The storm has already impacted major transportation hubs, delaying the shipments of vaccine doses and closing down vaccination sites in the hardest hit areas. What we're encouraging uh, governors and other partners to do is to extend hours once they're able to reopen. But local leaders say there were supply shortages even before this week's storm. Last week, we vaccinated almost 320,000 people. But I could be doing literally half a million a week if I had the supply I needed. The president and vice president received a closed door COVID briefing this morning as the administration continues its push to rally support for its $1.9 trillion relief package. Vice President Kamala Harris is meeting virtually with members of Congress and business leaders to discuss how the pandemic has disproportionately impacted women in the economy. Government statistics show since the start of the pandemic, more women have been laid off or left the workforce compared to men. And new numbers out this morning show unemployment claims rose last week with another 861,000 people applying for benefits. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. 
And lawmakers say they are still on track to vote on the president's coronavirus relief package as early as next week in the House before sending it to the Senate for consideration. The White House announced a sweeping immigration bill Democrats will introduce into Congress today. It aims to give a path to citizenship to the roughly 11 million undocumented immigrants living in the United States. It proposes an eight-year timeline to become a citizen with special exemptions for farm workers, those here on humanitarian grounds, and immigrants who enter the U.S. as children, allowing them to immediately apply for a green card. But even with Democratic majorities in both chambers, the president will face a tough fight from Republicans to approve any legislation. Today, Milwaukee community leaders asked the public to support a task force's efforts to create a bronze statue of Vell Phillips on the state capitol grounds. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett shared that he was privileged to know Phillips and viewed her as an inspiration, role model, and friend. She was engaged in committing, committed to fighting for justice in our community throughout her entire lifetime. She forged her own path many times cutting down the trees herself to build the road, blazing a trail for others to follow. Today is Vel Phillips' birthday. She passed away in 2018. Phillips has a long list of firsts. She was the first African-American woman to graduate from the UW Law School, the state's first African-American judge, and the first person of color elected to a statewide office. A statue in her honor would be the first to memorialize a person of color on the Wisconsin Capitol grounds. The Vel Phillips Task Force is looking to raise $250,000 to fund the statue. So far, they've raised more than $125,000. If you'd like to donate, we have a link on channel3000.com. And there's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. A new report shows the U.S. life expectancy dropped in 2020 with the pandemic as a factor. Stay with us. It's your last chance for the biggest President's Day sale in Wisconsin at Ashley Home Store. Get our very best deals of the season, including doorbusters up to 50% off. Plus, take bonus holiday discounts off our sale prices and interest-free financing for five years. Ashley Home Store. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison 2021. Nominate the Joint Chiropractic Best Chiropractor. Join in March and your initial exam and adjustment is free for new patients. Nominate online today at madisonmagazine.com. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's gonna be wider. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And in each five minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour and start using the power swabs five minute solution just snap swab and smile after just seven days the results were awesome power swabs was easy to use every day and each day i could see it better and better and from beginning to end it's definitely wider uh, and they look clean they feel clean um and people have made comments about it, which is nice. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Order Power Swabs and receive up to 40% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, by ordering in response to this advertisement, get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 40% on your purchase and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free Free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit powerswabs.com today. The biggest President's Day Mattress Marathon sale ends Tuesday at Ashley Home Store. Get the guaranteed best offer in all of Wisconsin on Tempur-Pedic and Beautyrest mattresses. Plus, save up to 65% off doorbusters like these. Only at Ashley Home Store. 
Well, flu activity is at its lowest in years. The CDC says it hasn't been this low since they started collecting data back in 2005. In the first week of February, just four people in the entire country tested positive for flu. The CDC says only 189 tests submitted to its surveillance program have come back positive this entire season. The agency says its possible coronavirus mitigation efforts have kept the virus at bay. Life expectancy has dropped in the U.S. during the first half of 2020. The National Center for Health Statistics published its report today. In the first half of 2020, experts found life expectancy dropped a full year. It now stands at 77.8 years for the entire U.S. population. They point to the coronavirus as a significant factor contributing to the decline. The labor market takes a turn in the wrong direction, and the USDA is throwing cold water on the idea of storing food outside. Diane King Hall has your Money Watch report. Hundreds of thousands of Americans continue to file for unemployment benefits. According to the Labor Department, another 861,000 people filed weekly jobless claims last week. That was much higher than expected. A mixed bag from Walmart with its latest quarterly results. The world's biggest retailer says sales surged to more than $152 billion in its fourth quarter, but it spent more than a billion dollars on pandemic-related costs like more cleaning and extra bonuses for workers. JetBlue says it is dropping change fees for most of its tickets, but be prepared for tighter restrictions if you buy the cheapest tickets. Travelers with the airline's blue basic fares won't be allowed to bring a traditional carry-on beginning July 20th. Only a small bag that can fit under the seat will be permitted. With freezing temps across the U.S. knocking out power in some cities, some people are turning to the outdoors to try and preserve food and beverages. The USDA says not so fast because outdoor temps can vary hour to hour and sun exposure could damage some food. All is not lost, though. The agency did suggest taking advantage of the cold temps and making ice to store in your fridge or freezer. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to CBSMoneyWatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Diane King. Hall. Thank you, Diane. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrial is down 233 points. The Nasdaq off 161. The S&P 500 down 31. Well, still ahead of noon, temperatures continue to slowly warm up. Hattie will tell us how warm it'll feel by this weekend in your first warm forecast. Looking for a sofa? Looking for a chair? You haven't shopped furniture in Madison until you've shopped Dwellings, Madison's best kept secret for design and furniture. Shop our fabulous new showroom, Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. There's a splash of surprise in every Wisconsin Lottery Scratch game. Introducing five, 10, 20, 50, and 100 times the cash. The newest multiplier family of games with prices of one, two, five, 10, and $20. The bigger the ticket, the bigger the multiplier. With top prizes of up to $200,000. Instant scratch games from the Wisconsin Lottery. Odds are you'll like them. Erectile dysfunction for men of all ages has become much more common. In fact, most men don't realize that 90% of erectile dysfunction is a direct result of broken down old blood vessels. This causes a lack of blood flow that is critical when achieving an erection. With our state-of-the-art technology, we're able to stimulate new stem cell growth right in our office with no pills, no needles, no surgery, and no pain. To book your consultation and get back to natural functionability, call Peak Performance for Men today. Madison Magazine's Restaurant Week is new and updated for 2021. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course menu at a special price for dining in at the restaurant or for takeout that you can enjoy at home. Dining with a choice. Don't miss Restaurant Week 2021, February 22nd through the 27th. Additional support provided by Wisconsin Beef Council and E&J Gala Winery. For Restaurant Week menus and details, visit madisonmagazine.com. Looking for a sofa? Looking for a chair? You haven't shopped furniture in Madison until you've shopped Dwellings, Madison's best kept secret for design and furniture. Shop our fabulous new showroom, Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. They faithfully serve the health care needs of our precious pets, but local veterinarians are struggling. We've got this high increased demand of caseload, 
as well as a struggling workforce. How COVID is creating a veterinary care crisis. Tonight on News 3 Now at 10. Friday morning, if your child is a fan of fairy tales and dancing, there's a unique opportunity here in the 608. We'll give you an inside look at what the experience is all about. We'll see you starting at 430 on News 3 Now this morning. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. And Pam Yankee from the Midwest Farm Report is out of the radio barn today, so here are your farm numbers. Maybe maybe we'll melt a little of the snow in the next week or so. Maybe, Mark. Take a look at the snow depth. We have 14 inches of snow on the ground here in Madison. Some areas of the south and east, more than that. So a lot of snow on the ground. It's actually keeping the ground pretty insulated. The frost depth is very low for this time of the year. Just a couple of inches of frost within the ground. But you can see how widespread the snow is across the area. Pretty good season for snow sports here across southern Wisconsin. That snow, though, is going to be melting. It probably contributed some of the cold temperatures that we've had so far this month. Take a look at this. Most days in February so far have been below normal and well below normal at that. We were more than 20 degrees below normal all last week. For the month, we're averaging about 18 degrees below normal. So if we want to get back to normal, we have some ground to make up. We are going to see a turn though in the temperatures. Take a look at our upper air weather pattern. The core of coldest air has been right on top of us. Jet stream sinking down to the south and then moving up the eastern seaboard. That has been the track of storms the last couple of days. So that's why we've been pretty quiet, all that activity going around us. As we put this map into motion, though, heading into the weekend, you'll see that jet stream flatten out a little bit, and it, it gets more zonal across the United States. That means west to east. That'll allow milder temperatures to move into southern Wisconsin. Little ripple in the jet stream brings us a chance for snow on Sunday. But overall, we're going to trend warmer as we head into next week. You see these blues and greens getting a little closer as that jet stream lifts a little bit further to the north, our temperatures are going to climb. Here's a look at that high temperature trend. You'll probably like this. A little cold tomorrow with 17, but then we're back on the upswing. By mid next week, we're in the mid to even upper 30s, close to 40 degrees some days. Hard to believe. That's about a 60 degree temperature swing in just a couple of days. Our Doppler track showing you where the snow is this lunch hour. Out on the east coast, still a storm system moving offshore, but bringing some ice and some snow to parts of New England. Otherwise, back here in the Great Lakes region. A little bit of lake effect snow near Chicago. That is just clipping the far southeastern corner of the state right now. Outside of a few flurries, though, looks like it is going to be relatively quiet for our viewing area today. Here's a look at our temperatures at this lunch hour. 21 here in Madison, 20 in the Dells, 25 in Janesville, Watertown. You're up a degree as well, now to 25. Winds are light. They are from the north. If there is a wind, it's about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Enough to generate a little bit of a wind chill, but not much. If you want to spend some time outside in that filtered sunshine this afternoon. We're talking wind chills in the mid to upper teens, right around 20 degrees. So again, a nice improvement and not bad to be outside. Our future track forecast shows you quite a few clouds and just that outside chance for a few flurries. Overall, relatively quiet. Highs will be in the low 20s today. We're then dropping back into the single digits by tomorrow morning. So it is going to be cold again tomorrow. Wind chills tomorrow morning will likely be in the single digits below zero. Our future track forecast then 
then next chance for snow comes on Sunday. Here's Sunday afternoon. You can see that snow spreading into the area and continuing through the evening hours. Best chances for accumulating snow will be across southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois, although it does look like it'll wrap up by Monday morning. Here's some initial snow amounts. Again, generally pretty light, maybe one to three inches for most of our area. Here's a look at that extended forecast then. Again, you'll like these temperatures. We do have sunshine in the forecast Friday and Saturday, especially temperatures will be in the low 20s. Saturday morning will start cold below zero once again, but after that, we at least have positive numbers on those nighttime lows and nice improvement on the daytime highs. We are getting there. We are. Slowly but surely. All right, Hattie, thank you. It is the fourth day of cold and misery for hundreds of thousands of Texans. No power, heat, or water for many and historic low temperatures for the Lone Star State. Nearly one quarter of Texans are under boil water advisories because treatment plants are down. Janet Shamlin reports from Houston. In Texas, it's a full-on humanitarian crisis. This is worse than Harvey, and we lost everything. Some desperate families using outdoor grills inside and running cars in garages to stay warm. Those choices contributing to at least 300 cases of carbon monoxide poisoning in Houston's Harris County, according to the Houston Chronicle. Very cold, and now we got to deal with this. This man, now homeless, after seven townhomes went up in flames southwest of Dallas during rolling blackouts. Pretty short on supplies, especially water right now. With temperatures below freezing, an hour-long wait just to get into this grocery store. And at this market, customers waited in the dark. Yeah. The Dandridge family has been without heat and lights with their 13-month-old son, Bobby. All of our camping gear has really been what I've been able to use. And then I've been boiling uh, pots of water. And this morning... No end in sight. We're hearing from families all over the county. This is unprecedented. They're dealing not only with water, with power, with no heat. What would you say to them right now? I don't want to raise false hope and pretend that things are going to get meaningfully better very soon. As Texans wait for a thaw and power to their homes, Senator Ted Cruz is facing backlash after an alleged fellow passenger tweeted out this photo appearing to show crews on a flight to Cancun. As power is restored, the next critical issue is water. Dozens of Texas cities seeing the taps run dry due to bursting pipes. Here in Houston, Methodist Hospital had to cancel all but the most critical of surgeries because water pressure was so low. Janet Shamley in CBS News, Houston. All right, there's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. I'm next, we'll introduce you to our pet of the week, a guinea pig. And we'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. If your gang is getting tired of the same old dinner time routine, join us in the Test Kitchen today as we reintroduce you to an old favorite with a twist. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Thanks for calling 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Do you make junk disappear? Yes, ma'am. When? Now. <laughs> Junk disappear. All you have to do is point. Exciting things call for a drum roll, like this new offer on one of Wisconsin's favorite lotto games. It's Badger 5 with Lightning Ball. During February, there's a 1 in 3 chance that a Lightning Ball strikes a play. When it does, players get an extra number, which means better odds of winning a prize, jackpot not included, only in February. This exciting offer from the Wisconsin Lottery is going fast. It's time to upgrade your downtime. It's time for Stressless. Now at the Century House. Go from one grade of leather to a higher one for free. Or save $300 on stressless sunrise recliners. Don't wait. Save hundreds on stressless comfort. At the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. These days, Social Security is denying more disability claims than ever. If you can't work, it can be harder to win benefits. I'm attorney Don Becker. Now more than ever, you need an experienced disability lawyer. For over 30 years, 
My firm has helped people win benefits. Disability law is all we do. The Becker Law Office, 1-800-254-7766. Today, you can turn your home into a university. And you can turn a lasting career into reality. With Herzing University, you can earn a degree in today's hottest fields. Anytime, online. Herzing is recognized, accredited, experienced, and transfer friendly with more than 90% student satisfaction. For a limited time, we'll waive your enrollment fee. See what your career can turn into with Herzing University. I'm possible at Herzing. Call or click today. Thanks for calling 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Do you make junk disappear? Yes, ma'am. When? Now. That's so Ooh, take it all. When you want junk to disappear, all you have to do is point. When it comes to making dinner, one of the biggest challenges many of us face is, what can I make that's different? Let me help you by introducing you to a recipe that's easy, budget-friendly, and comforting. It's country fried steak, and it goes together like this. We start off by seasoning some cube steak with salt and pepper. And then for a twist, we dip them in some buttermilk. You see, the buttermilk adds a tang to the breading and helps tenderize the meat. We coat both sides really well with some yellow cornmeal, which will ensure lots of crunch in every bite. After pan frying them, when the coating is golden and they're cooked all the way through, we place them on a wire rack. Then in the same pan, we add some seasoned flour to the drippings, whisk in some milk, and when this thickens, our gravy is done. Serve this up with some mashed potatoes and a veggie and say goodbye to your boring dinner time routine. Let me assure you, this is gonna be a new family favorite. To get your hands on our country bumpkin fried steak recipe, all you have to do is visit our website. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a fast and budget-friendly way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm. Thank you, Howard. It's time to introduce you to our pet of the week, a guinea pig named Mike the Situation. Our friends at the Dane County Humane Society tell us this adorable critter is a bit shy at first, but he will be your best pal in no time. He enjoys lots of playtime and crunchy snacks every now and then. Cute little guy. If you're interested in adopting Mike or checking out the other animals at the Dane County Humane Society, go to giveshelter.org. And last week's pet of the week, a dog named Spencer, was adopted. That's no surprise. Look at that face. Toto's Gala is transformed forming into Dane County Humane Society's centennial celebration to kick off their 100th year in style. They'll have cocktails, an online auction, game night, and a live stream filled with animals and heartwarming stories right in your own home. You can find out more at giveshelter.org slash events. And here's Hattie with one final check of the forecast. Not bad this afternoon. There is a chance for a few flurries. Let's take a look at that radar map once again to see if anything is getting a little closer to Madison. Mainly south and east of Dane County right now is where we're seeing that flurry activity. Temperatures are in the 20s in most spots. Just a few cities still in the teens. 18 in Platteville, 19 in Lone Rock, but even 20 in the Dells. Your day planner temperatures take us back into the low 20s this afternoon. We drop down into the single digits. Future track wind chills tomorrow morning are going to be a little cold Older, will likely be in the single digits below zero tomorrow morning. Here's that extended forecast though. We have temperatures that are finally going to start to warm up. We will get above the freezing point on Monday with a high of 34. And then the next day on Tuesday, we're flirting with 40 degrees. Just a few, couple more days here. <sighs> Gotta be patient, just a few more. <laughs> all right, Hattie, thank you. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you back here at four o'clock. In the meantime, have a great afternoon.